Hello everyone, welcome to University Simplified. So when studying about psych researchers, people usually um, wonder about, uh, sometimes they do uh, wonder about or get confused about uh, why we need two groups. Like why do we need the experimental group and the control group and what are they exactly? Um, well, there's a good reason for why we need an experimental group and a control group. So, in psych researches, most of the times, and probably in other disciplines researches as well, when we try to test something, we when we do researches, we apply something on the thing we are trying to research. It can be people, it can be anything. And we tend to see if there's, if the thing we applied has any change on the research element, okay? And on the other hand, we try to keep another uh, group or another person or another anything on which we don't apply that thing but still test it, okay? And then um, based on the researches on the experimental group and control group, we try to compare. Um, I mean, we try to compare and then we can see that uh, the changes and we can draw a conclusion. I'll give you an example and it will become very clear to you. Let's say uh, you have uh, an energy drink uh, company. You own an energy drink company. You, what, what you are trying to, um, you are bringing out this new type of energy drink and you're trying to test it, whether it really works in terms of whether it really increases people's energy or not, okay? So what you do is you um, hire a group of 30 people and you feed them an energy drink and tell them to keep running, okay? Let's say on average they can keep running for two hours, all right? Now, how can you say that that's more than uh, an average person would run, okay? How, uh, which means that how can you say your energy drink is exactly or really working? To do that, you need another group which doesn't really uh, drink any energy drink. Okay, or I mean that which won't drink any energy drink in your experiment and will still run and you'll see how long they can run. Let's say they can run for, on average, for only one hour. So compared to your energy drink drinking uh, group, which is the experimental group you're trying to experiment on, uh, which can run for two hours, this control group, which you didn't feed any energy drink, could run only for one hour on average. So you can compare that your experimental group, which can run for twice the time the control group can run, okay? So you can draw a firm conclusion that my energy drink really works because it increases, for this experiment, it increases the energy of the people uh, and people can run twice as much as the people that didn't drink um, the energy drink in this case. So that's why you really need a control group to compare uh, your you know, experimental group with. It really makes your conclusion more um, firm, more believable, and yeah, and your research becomes even uh, better to and more acceptable to other people. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, share and subscribe and keep up to date with my videos. Thank you very much.